at him and you know she's not like what <laughs> no. so that was very unlearned but very disgusting to even remember but the first one i actually liked i was in third year my, my first sexual experience um hello hello is anybody here hello channel my name is Gito Ogwani if this is your first time watching any of my videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button below I'm a Lagos based YouTuber I make videos about lifestyle travel and freelancing and how to make money online so if these are kind of content that you like to see definitely don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that when I make when I put up any video you'll be the first person to know so today I'm going to do to my first time video I got this video idea from Emma Tetsim and it, it seems really nice you know <laughs> and I decided I'm just gonna spill some tea here in this video let's start from the most boring ones to you know <laughs> the ones that you guys are working as a online or as a correspondent and a sales representative of like this campus magazine, the Vogue magazine. So I was the correspondent for my my school there, in University of Nigeria, and Tuka, and I was, it was, I was in second year. It was in two thousand and fourteen, and I was in second year. So that was actually my first job, mm. and it paid me its care. I thought it was like a lot of money then, but you know, <laughs> uh, my first flight, my first flight was in twenty fifteen. I was going to. Lagos from Enugu and um, I had like this audition, this screenwriting audition that I really needed to go to and then I got the email that I was invited for the audition by 2 that day and I didn't really know what to do. My mom, we, we had to check flights and there was really no flight. I was leaving Enugu for Lagos then. So my mom was like, I should enter night bus. No, no. <laughs> so we called my uncle and he was not like, no, I'm not going to enter night bus, you know, I'm not going to do that. And then he was able to get me a flight. Uh, it was not like a direct flight, but it was a flight. Okay, he was able to get me a flight, and Ta -da. it used to be my mother until she changed her job, and now she's like a really busy career woman. Does not have a child to stand anymore. So I don't really have anybody that I call on phone early in the morning. There's really no specific person that I call on phone. And so yeah, my first friend, my first friend, Chidiman Naji. I hope you're fine wherever you are right now. <laughs> well, she was my first friend, my family friend, my first friend is a bunch of stuff and I really, really like her. So, hello to you, my girl, to this video. Hello. The first book I read, um, I cannot really remember the first book I read. It has to be maybe this gingerbread man books, um, this um, fantasy, gingerbread man, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, and a bunch of all these books my mom used to buy and then I used to read from Chili Matsu. But the first book that I can actually remember that I read was Tunde on the Run. My mom used to buy me like a lot of books, like that's her own idea of punishment. I don't understand it. It's like <laughs> when I was younger, I used to play a whole lot. So my mom was like, you know. I don't know who, who put this idea in her head that reading books is a punishment. So she would usually lock me in the house and give me like a bunch. No, she does not lock me. No, no, she didn't lock me. She didn't lock me in the house. She just buys me a bunch of books like Tony on the Run, Chicken on the River, Without a Silver Spoon, like a bunch of them. Read the book at work. Write questions down for her for me, and then give me the books to read. When I'm done reading the book. When she comes back from work and you don't answer the questions that she has written about that book. <laughs> you're, fin you're finished. It's over. You're finished. You know, you like it. Just for forget it. Yeah, yeah. You're gone for. <laughs> My first movie, the first movie that I can actually remember I watched, aside cartoons, is Save the Last Dance. The first time. More, I've never been like a kitchen girl or somebody that actually enjoyed cooking. So while I was young, my mom was cooking. I usually, I was, I'm, I was usually playing. I was, I grew up as an only child, so I was usually playing all the time. The first time I actually had to cook food was, and I, my mom didn't really allow me to cook when I was growing up. I think the first time I actually really cooked food was in SS three when I was doing my my. Um, home management practice. Okay, I actually learned how to cook 
during the junior wire holiday but i was not really doing that i just learned, um, learned how to do it but the first time i actually cooked like the actually cooked one in ss3 during my home home management practical thank god i got a1 i did not disgrace my mother <laughs> My first friend in college, my first friend in college is Ahan a very messy. I love you, A.B. I love you. And I, I have other friends in college. Like, the friends that, I, people usually say that the friends that you make in high school are the best, but the friends that I made in college, like the friends that I made in college, people, people. Ahan a very messy, Johnson, Amara, men. These people actually mean the world to me. I still love the friends that I made in college in um, high school, but the friends that I made in college, fam. Mm. My um, <clears throat> the first person I text when something exciting is about to happen. It depends on what the exciting thing is. There are some exciting things I actually text my mommy. I live with my cousin, so I literally tell her everything, like every exciting thing. But when it has to be texting people, like it has to be my mom for some things. Some things actually, especially when it does not have to do with mom. Some things. I text my mommy, some things I text my uncle from child, and some things I text my friend. Is that is it that just you or Amara? Like one of these two people that I actually text when something really exciting is happening. And then sometimes I text a baby, but it's usually like even my mom, she sends the Amara, like a very these people, like you know. First thing I do when I get home, it depends on where I'm coming from. If I'm coming from maybe the co-working space, I'm definitely exhausted so the first thing i actually do is just drop my laptop back and go straight to the bathroom or lie on the floor for a while press my phone and go straight to the bathroom but it, it depends on where i'm coming from most times it involves me getting food if i if i if i if i go on a date definitely not but then if i if it's not a date i'm actually coming from it involves me like getting food or i don't know it depends. <laughs> My first sleep over my first sleep over was in the one I can actually recall though was in second year and it was in a baby's room. So that's my first sleep over. My first cell phone was a it was a Samsung phone, my mom's phone. I'm going to she gave it to me. I'm going to like find it online and put it here. But it had a head, one kind of head like that, or something like that. <laughs> My first shopping on my own was in SS3 during my graduation. My mom was in was she not, was in Abuja or Ghana. She went somewhere. I think she was in Abuja or Ghana or Abuja. I think it's Abuja. But she traveled. She traveled and I had to buy a particular cloth, a particular dress and all. So that was like when I was preparing for my graduation. So my first makeup was with my SS3 graduation. First language definitely English this is English my first pet I don't have any I don't intend to have any maybe a dog but <laughs> I don't I don't intend to have any I don't have any pets the first time I got drunk I've never actually gotten drunk I have never gotten drunk before I've taken alcohol once but I didn't get drunk and I have never gotten drunk before <clears throat> The first app I check in the morning is my email. You know when you expect a whole lot of things, you don't jump to it. In fact, I don't have an Instagram app on my phone. I don't. The first app I check in the morning is my email. You know when you expect a whole lot of things, you don't jump to it. In fact, I don't have an Instagram app on my phone. I just download it, look at, look through it, and when I see that it's actually um, getting in the way of me getting things done i uninstall the app so the first app i check in the morning is my gmail to know exactly if i got any mail or any order or anything like anything so um my first swear word i don't have any is your mother the swear word <laughs> oh god my first youtube video that was like that that was a disaster i'm just going to put it somewhere here but like i don't know why you could allow me to make that video and upload it like what kind of friends do i have why did you why did you put do that to me like why didn't you tell me what are you doing this is this is not it this is not it <laughs> oh my god my first piercing i don't actually have any piercing i don't i have any piercing at all as you can see my i, I didn't i don't have piercing at all so i actually don't please pardon on the noise um the generator is on and just pardon it just pretend like you can't hear it so 
I don't have any piercing, I don't have any tattoo, I don't intend to get any piercing, I don't intend to get any tattoo. I mean, they are beautiful, but not on my body, okay? <laughs> piercings are beautiful, but I don't want any. I'm not going to be wearing any earring or, or anything, any ring at all that involves me piercing any part of my body. And I don't have any tattoo, I don't intend to get any. So, in case that changes, I don't think it's for you to know. My first train experience was in 2014. I entered a train from Umwa here that I was going to Port Harcourt, but the train dropped me in my village. Yeah, dropped me in my village. Yeah. My first ship experience, I think, I don't think it's a ship experience. My mom just took me to, to just get on a ship or something when I was like, I think my first tweet, I will find an accident on Twitter, but I'll find it and you know, give that to you. The first time I got into trouble, I cannot say what happened. I'm sorry, I can't. But it was it was really bad. It was really bad. I can't say what happened. I really hope anybody that knows me from childhood will not like get to school down, you know. You know. <laughs> okay. My first um first movie I watched Save the Last Dance, my first heartbreak. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that that should be in third year. Get out when I'm as a third year, definitely. May God forgive you for what you did most to you. May God forgive you. <laughs> My first crush, I had one crush like that in church. Now that we are all good, I'll be like, like, what I see the boy, I'll be like, what? <laughs> How? Like, what? I had a crush with this boy. No. No. But I actually did do. My first, um, my first. Like I have two experiences on that. I have the one that I actually wanted and the one that I know. So for the one that I did not want, which is like the first experience that I had in that subject matter, this boy. Hmm. On my matriculation, I didn't really have family coming over, so I met him in the shop and I was like, mm, you know, let's um, um, congratulations on your matriculation and all that. And I was like, oh, thank you. All of it sorting. You know, like he came for the matriculation after that we hung out somewhere around my hostel and you're like what the fuck? <laughs> I was 16 I was like what what you you know this I did not want that I oh, know but that was like my first kiss and that experience was not like was memorable in a very bad way like you know but when I was in third year actually had my first kid so you know <laughs> it was so memorable so memorable my what else is missing my first online profile picture i'm going to put this picture and if you love god is going to judge you okay he's actually going to judge you um my first time out of the country i've actually answered this i yeah first time out of the country i went to Venice republic and i was supposed to go to ghana by the end of march but hello corona hello hello my dear <laughs> and in my first relationship i my first relationship i was in um i was 16. no i was even not 16. oh my god my mom was so disappointed I was even up to 16. Can you imagine? Like, mm. anyway, that happened. Anyway, so, um, hello, hello, is anybody there? Hello, everyone. <laughs> please, please, my mom, my mom is watching this video. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till I come here again next time, it will be nice to see your neighbors. And if you have like your um, first time video, first time you've got you, your first job, first flight, first person to call, first time out of the country, first crush, first friend, first book, first whatever, then just make your own video and tag me and I will help you repost it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh, stay safe too. Bye.